the start of the project, uh, you know, as being the responsible contractor, we have to put in place uh, the construction plan which comprises of the health and safety uh, portion as well. So what we have to look at is we have to look at all the activities we do and we have to assess those activities and prepare re uh, risk assessments, method statements. So they're very much uh, logged on a register and as the activities take hold they're reviewed, toolbox talks are given and uh, that enables everybody to be informed about the activities we're undertaking and uh, anybody uh, uh, you know, within that environment are informed through regular toolbox talks. Uh, we have a health and safety uh, officer on site full time and uh, he's responsible for implementing that and, and monitoring all aspects of the activities on site along with all the construction team. The construction team themselves are in, you know, are in a sense health and safety officers as well because we all take health and safety, you know, as being pinnacle in terms of, uh, you know, the operations in terms of what we do. Uh, so everybody's involved in that. We hold regular meetings and we also have engaged with the main contractor on a weekly basis to be involved in the health and safety on a broader scale for the project as well. We have, in some instances, what we do is we have initiatives where, you know, if, if uh, you know, people are nominated on, you know, on a monthly basis that uh, they've worked well. Uh, you know, in terms of health and safety practice, then uh, they are recommended, you know, for maybe a certificate or maybe a small presentation of some sort, a small gift in some more, uh, way. But yes, yeah, so these are initiatives that we do operate, you know, and we can operate on, on project to project basis.